name is Bess. I work for LIC as a pasture to profit consultant in North England and Scotland. Thank you for joining me for this short video on non-return rates. Non-return rate is a useful fertility measure generally used by block calving farmers. It is the number of cows who have been inseminated in the first round of AI who haven't returned between 2 and 24 days for a second insemination. So essentially it's an early indication of how conception rates are tracking. And normally you'd start looking at this from week 4 of breeding and you can continue it through the rest of the breeding period or at least until pregnancy diagnosis can be obtained. Non-return rates are typically about 10% higher than conception rate. Therefore, your target non-return rate is 70%, which would put conception rate in the realms of about 60% and on track for a high six-week end calf rate. So, how do I calculate non-return rate? You're going to need two numbers. One is the number of cows that are served in a given period of time. And the second figure is the number of those served cows who haven't returned in 2 to 24 days after their insemination. So I'm going to go through an example here. Um, basically, hopefully you can use my working to use your own farm records to work out non-return rate for yourself. So in my example of a handed cow herd, in week 1 I served a total of 30 cows and after week 4 I could see that 19 of those 30 cows had not returned for a second insemination. So I would do 19 divided by 30 times that figure by 100. That gives me a non-return rate of 63%. So if you're currently sitting after week 5 of breeding, you can also get a, bit, a more accurate figure because you have more returns to look at. So let's say, for example, we're looking at week 1 and 2 of breeding period. And in this example, I served 65 cows in the first two weeks of the breeding period. And so far of those cows, 43 of them haven't returned for a repeat service. And this gives me a non-return rate of 66%. So now that I've calculated these, what do I do with this information? I would basically use this information to make decisions about the rest of the mating period. So, based on my 100 cow herd, on my three week submission rate I hit 92%. So 92 of my 100 cows were served in the first three weeks. I times that by my predicted um, conception rate. So let's be conservative and say it's 53%. Which means in the first three weeks, I have 51 cows already in calf. Now, obviously, it's week four and I've continued serving. So in week four, plus week four cows, I served 15 of them. If I times those 15 cows by my 53% predicted conception rate, that is another eight cows. So in total, I have 59 cows in calf. Or, that's 41 cows still to get pregnant. So basically the conversation I therefore have is, based on this 59 cows and my use of dairy, beef, sexed, conventional straws, can I have enough or do I have the potential for enough replacements in that 59? If so... I can potentially look at, look at putting my sweeper bulls. However, do I have enough sweeper bulls to get those 41 cows in calf? If not, I'm going to have to look at extending AI with possibly some short gestation beef or beef straws until I can get the cow number of cows to serve by my bulls down to an acceptable rate based on the bull to cow ratio I've got. Thank you for joining me. I really hope this has been helpful for you.